Hello, my name is Gabby and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here then welcome to my channel. So this video today is split up into two parts. The first part is the Unpopular Opinions book tag and then the second half is a book haul. So this tag was originally created by the book Archer and I thought that it would be fun to do this tag today because I personally love to watch these types of videos and I thought it would be fun to do it myself. And of course these are all just my opinions. We all have different reading experiences and these were just mine. And with that, let's get started. So the first question is a popular book or series that you didn't like. So I have two answers for this and the first one is A Curse of Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmerer. So with this book I was just bored a lot of the time and I didn't like any of the characters and most of the time they all just annoyed me. Which is sad because I did have really high hopes for this when I first heard about it but I just didn't end up liking it. I did end up giving this book two stars because I did hear a lot of good things about the cerebral palsy rep but otherwise this book just wasn't fun for me. And the next book is Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. So there's a really weird reason why I didn't enjoy this series and that reason is is that the demons in here are described as having animal heads and in my head I just kept picturing like these big mascot like animal heads and then they would be doing things like kissing one another and I would be picturing those mascot heads and it was overall just really weird for me. And other than that I just wasn't interested in the romance, I wasn't interested in most of the characters or the plot. I did read this whole series and I think I gave it like a 2.5 stars because some parts were fun but overall I did just have a really weird time with this series and I didn't enjoy myself. The next question is a popular book or series that everyone else seems to hate but that you love. So I also have two answers for this and my first one is the Folk of the Air series by Holly Black. When I first found out about this book it was getting talked about everywhere. I was seeing a lot of praise for it at the time but I was also seeing like a lot of hate and what I did before I bought the series was I watched a bunch of those videos that were kind of talking bad about this book and I took all that information into my head so I knew what to expect when I read this and I ended up so surprised because I did not think I was going to like this but <laughs> this is probably my favorite series of all time. I love the characters, I love the romance, I love the plot, I loved everything about it and yeah I, I gave it five, I gave all three books five stars and I just really really love this series. And the next book is Wicked Saints by Emily A. Duncan. I don't see that much hate for this book really, but just a lot of disappointment I guess with it. Honestly, Seraphim really carries this book hard for me. Like if it wasn't for him, I'm not sure I would like this book that much. Other than Seraphim, I really love the way the plot flowed. I like the magic system a lot and I can't wait to continue with this series. I do want to reread this before the second book comes out, but I don't know if I'm going to have time, but I hope so and I gave this five stars. So the next question is, a love triangle where the main character ended up with a person you didn't want them to or an OTP that you don't like? So I really only have an answer for the love triangle portion of this. And the answer I have for the love triangle I feel like comes up in all of these videos, but it is Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. Honestly, I'm not that mad about this one anymore. Like I started the series when I was 15 and I've kind of just, I've left it alone for a while and it doesn't bother me anymore. But also at the same time, 15 year old me is still kind of mad she ended up on the wrong side of this one. I do want to do a reread of this series sometime, knowing what I know now about it and just see what I think. But for now, I think I gave this book like two stars and that's where it's currently sitting at and that's where it's going to stay at until that reread happens. And maybe even then it's still going to stay there. I don't know yet. <laughs> so the next question is a popular book genre that you hardly reach for. And my answer for this is adult romance, although I do want to read like The Honeymooners and Fixer Up eventually. But for now, I did say before that I rarely love romance in books and I'm always a little hesitant to pick them up because usually if I don't like the romance then I don't like the book as a whole. But maybe once I read The Unhoneymooners and Fixer Up then I'll start to like this genre more, but for now it's on the list. So the next question is a popular or beloved character that you do not like. My answer for this is Elias from An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. So my experience with him, I started out thinking he was just like kind of average, but as the book went on he really grew to annoy me. I just found him to be so self-righteous and I didn't like the way he would talk about Helene and Laia. I am only on the first book of this series and I do plan to continue with it so maybe he'll grow on me as the series comes on but for right now 
Also, while we're on this note, I wasn't planning to talk about this character, but I also really dislike Tella from Legendary, which is book two of the Carnival series. She was in the first one too, but we, you do get her point of view fully in this book. It's honestly pretty close between her and Elias for my least favorite character. I don't remember much about this book, but I remember her just really bothering me. Like, I did not gel with her at all. Which made this book really hard because I did really enjoy Caraval. Then you get here and I just, I just really did not like her. And I did not like this book. And I think this might be my least favorite book of all time because of that. Well, not just because of that, but mostly because of her. And I'm saying I think because there, there might just be something that's slipping my mind right now. But for this video, it's this. So the next question is a popular author that you just can't seem to get into. Well, my answer for this is Stephen King. This book that I'm holding up is pretty much solely responsible for my themed months because I have been stuck on this book since October and it's not even that I'm not enjoying it, it's just that it's long, it's so long and the words are so tiny. I do want to finish this eventually. but. Definitely after this book because of this experience that I've gone through with this. I definitely cannot see myself picking up anything else from Stephen King anytime soon. Like, I, I need a break. The next question is a popular book trope that you're tired of seeing. And my answer for this is love triangles, which I feel like, again, is like what everybody usually says for this. There are some cases where they don't bother me. Like, they didn't bother me that much in Cassandra Clare's books, but it is the reason why I had to take a break from that whole series was because I was sick of the drama that all the love triangles brought on. Also in the Two All the Boys I Loved Before series, like, the love triangle in the first book didn't bother me, but the one in the second book really did. I'm just tired of seeing it. The next question is a common series that you have no interest in reading. So my answer for this question is the Selection series by Kira Cass. To my understanding, this book is just like one big version of the, kind of like the Bachelorette kind of, and to me that goes right away back to the love triangle trope even though it's like bigger than a love triangle whatever the word is for it i just have no interest in putting myself through that knowing how i react to stuff like that and i have no plans to read it and the last question is so the saying goes that the book is better than the movie but what movie or tv show adaptation do you like better than the book my answer for this is mortal engines by philip reeve so this movie lost its studio like a ton of money, but I really enjoyed watching it. I did see the movie before I read this series. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. And back to characters that I don't like, I do not enjoy Tom Natsworthy from this series. In the movies, he's played by Robert Sheehan from the Umbrella Academy, and I really, really liked him there. So it was kind of a shock for me when I read this series and ended up hating him as much as I do. I, I just overall thought that the movie was really good. But yeah, that's my answer. And since that was the last question, it's time to move on to the haul. The first set of books I'm going to be showing you are new releases that I pre-ordered for the month of March. The first book is Chain of Gold by Cassandra Clare. It is the first book in the Last Hour series. I did mention in, I think, my first video that I am nowhere near ready to read this book. I still have a lot of her other books to read before I'm going to be letting myself read this, although I really want to. But when I do reach that point, book's gonna be right there waiting for me and I'm really excited to hopefully get there soon. <laughs> so the next book is Wicked As You Wish by Rin Chupeka. Now I mentioned in my last video that I really love The Never Tilting World and I was looking to pick up other books from this author and she just happened to have a new release for this month. And this book is about a prince from the magical kingdom of Avalon who somehow ends up having to live in Arizona. And it sounds like a really fun book and I'm super excited. I had a really fun time reading Never Tilting World and I'm hoping for really great things from this. The next book is Havenfall by Sarah Holland. And this book is about a safe haven, I think an inn, that's between two different realms. And this definitely isn't the type of book I would normally read, but I have been trying to branch out recently. The cover's really beautiful, and I'm excited to get to it. And also, there is a emblem <laughs> under the cover, which I love when books have this. I always check for it, and I was super excited to see this one. So the next book is Bone Crier's Moon by Catherine Purdy. Uh, so I don't know much about this book. I don't really know much about any book because once I read the plot, it just goes right from my head and I forget all about it all the time. 
But from what I remember, this book sounds like a wild time, and I hope for some fun things. Next book is The Vanishing Deep by Astrid Schultz. And this is very similar to Havenfall, where I don't usually read books like this, and I thought it sounded interesting, thought it'd be a good book to branch out with, and I'm excited. But those were all the books I pre-ordered from this month with the exception of the Girls with Sharp Sticks sequel which comes out later in the month. At the time of filming this video it is currently not out yet. Also I wanted to pre-order the Sky Without Stars sequel but I forgot. So that's not here either and it comes out late March anyway. The rest of this haul are just random books that I've gotten recently. And the first book is The Crescent City by Sarah J Moss. I had no idea that this book was coming out until I saw it on Instagram. It's, I'm pretty sure it's Sarah J Maas's adult debut, and as I mentioned previously in this video, I didn't have a good time with Throne of Glass when I was younger, but I did recently have a really good time with when she wrote Catwoman for the DC Icon series. And I'm curious to see what I think about her writing now. I do want to read A, a Court of Thorns and Roses as well, eventually, and we'll see. I hope for good things. Oh, and this also has the, and this also has something under the cover and inside the cover as well. Like the art for this book is so gorgeous. You see that? You can kind of see it. The next book is I Hope You Stay by Courtney Pepper, and this is a poetry collection. And I don't, I don't really know what it's about because I don't go into poetry books really knowing what the themes are or what they're about. I usually just pick based on the cover, and if I know the author or not, which in this case I do. I read the first and second volumes of her Pillow Talks poetry collections, and all around I would say I had a pretty decent time with those. And I saw she had this as a new release, so I picked it up. So the next book is Finale by Stephanie Garver. Because I knew this book was in this haul, that's why I mentioned Legendary back in the tag to give you some context for this. I really like Caravelle. I hated Legendary. I was not going to pick this book up. I really wasn't. I was done with it. I didn't want to finish it. But for some reason this book won't leave me alone. And I'm usually not like this with books. Like if I don't like a series and I stop reading it, I usually just stop reading it and don't feel a need to pick up the next one. But for whatever reason, I feel this need to finish this. I found it in a discount section. I just thought it was time. I guess we'll see my thoughts on this when I read it. And I'm mostly just excited to finally complete this series and get it done. And honestly, ever since I bought this book, like, I feel so much better. Like, like it's no longer hanging over my head. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll see. My expectations are low, but maybe it'll surprise me. Next book is The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman. This also isn't my usual type of book, but I thought the cover was so pretty. And I read the plot, and I got this really good gut feeling from it. And then that feeling intensified because when I sent a picture of this haul to my friend, she freaked out about this book and this author. And I had no idea she even read this or liked this. <laughs> but she super loved it and I'm really excited now and now my expectations have like went from having none to like skyrocketing. <laughs> so yeah, I'm super excited to read this and I expect really good things and hopefully I love it. The next book is Harleen, and I have no idea how to pronounce the author's name, so it's going to be up on the screen. I'm a big DC Comics fan, and I do love Harley Quinn, and I think this is her origin story from what I know about it. I'm really excited to read this. The art looks super cool. I honestly don't know how much longer I can hold off on this, and I definitely might pick it up soon. <laughs> next book is Once Upon a River by Diane Setterfield. I probably should have mentioned this previously in the video, but when I did say this isn't the type of book I would usually read, I guess like, spoiler alert for my channel in the future, but I am trying to put together a mystery month. Mystery isn't the type of genre that I usually reach for, and that's why this book is here. <laughs> I thought this would be a fun addition. This applies to some of the books I mentioned previously as well. I don't want to give too much away because a lot of the books in this haul are probably going to end up in my Mystery Month TBR whenever that is. I don't know a lot of the details yet of when it's going to be, what's going to be in it, or anything like that. The next book is The Girl at the Grave by Terry Bailey Black. And this is the same reason as Once Upon a River. <laughs> And the next book is Ink in the Blood. The author's name will be on the screen. So the magic system in here, I'm pretty sure, is has to do with like tattoos and ink. And it sounded really fun and interesting. 
and it sounds like a really fun time and I hope it is. <laughs> the last book is Life of a Wannabe Mogul by Bella Thorne and this is volume one of her poetry collection. I've been trying to get my hands on this for a really long time now and I'm very excited that I finally did. I was a big fan of Bella Thorne back when she was on Shake It Up and more recently I really love Famous in Love and also she was in Assassination Nation which I really enjoyed. Overall, I just find her to be a really fascinating person, and I'm excited to see what she does here, and hopefully it's a good time. So that's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want, let me know down below what new release of from March that you're most excited for, and I hopefully will see you next time.